Hey, what's going on everybody? JB here with another political video, and today we're going to be talking about why BLM does not deserve the Nobel Peace Prize. We're specifically going to be talking about the actual organization a little bit. We're going to touch on it right away when the video starts. Not using Nobel, just what we've ta I've talked about in past videos. Then we're also going to be talking more so about the social aspect of it, and how it's been causing a lot of damage, both monetarily and just damage damage. We're going to think some of the events that happened uh, this whole summer, and some of the statistics they have are a little bit outdated, but they still have large numbers in them, so I'm going to be showing it. And we're going to also touch on this, this one article that's been going around, it's saying, I believe it's 93 or 97, I believe it's 93% of BLM protest, uh, protests were all peaceful, which I'm calling bull on because there's a lot of them they have not even put into this study. And I'll be showing that in the uh, form of an opinion piece, so if that disqualifies it from what you believe is good or not. I'm sorry, but also I do want to just say before you get into the video, if you got this randomly and you're recommended and you're not liking the whole title and all that, please consider not hitting the dislike button right away and actually watching the video to see where I come from. And then if you want to dislike it, you can right after. I'm, I'm sure you can, you'd love to do that. But yeah, please consider leaving like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Uh, let's see the actual video. I don't want to hold this up anymore. So first things first, we're going to be talking about the organization. So first things first, the organization, while it, it does support s some parts of the actual movement that I agree with, a large part of it that it does not agree with, uh, I, I, of it that it does that does not even coincide with the actual movement, is they want to destroy the, the secular, like the family unit. They want to push for more Marxist and socialist ideas, which I don't understand how that has anything to do with Black, Black Lives Mattering. It has nothing to do with that cause. So... Right off the bat, that's like on their webpage, if you look it up, it just not, does not coincide at all. So, because of that, I don't agree with the organization at all. Now, I do, uh, the whole thing I have to say is, to clarify, black lives do matter, yes. I, every time I do a video on black lives matter, I have to say, yes, black people and black lives do matter. But no one's saying they don't. I'm saying what, the, what people have done in the name of that movement is not helping that movement or anyone that want, that agrees that Black Lives Matter. So first things first, we'll be looking at the damage caused by it. So this is showing different damages over the years, how much money has been caused by these different thing events. And this one's from May 26th to June 8th. So not a long time. This is from 2020. And it's 20 states across the U.S. And it's $1 to $2 billion. And th this, this is like a while ago, right? in 2021 and this does not cover most of 2021 because it covers a very very small amount of time and it caused a lot of damage in that time so we even though this is really outdated i couldn't find anyone keeping track of how much money this has been damn it buildings and like goods have been stolen i don't really think you can really count how much much goods have been stolen but like oh my gosh it's guaranteed it's way more than this now but let's continue on again all these uh, will be linked in the description below in case you want to go see them out check them out let's go on right here so basically the myth behind blm peeing peace or protests so basically this is from right when it first like sort of the time that i really remember it happening um funnily enough i had a lot of friends that actually live in san diego as i live in california uh, not in the San Diego, but close enough that I know a lot of people that do. So it was really interesting to hear what they were saying when it first started out. Um, because basically what, what they were telling me was there was a lot of local people, like protesters, like this person is saying, not protesters, local broadcasters saying that the protesters were setting fires, smashing windows, and looting shops, having weapons, graffiti, all this bullshit everywhere. Now I've been to San Diego. San Diego is a really nice area in some parts and some places it's not. And I just think it's really sad to see all this happening to this area, especially because my friends were like, they've lived their entire life. Obviously, they love the area. Um, I can't wait to get out of California one day, but like, it's just, it was just really, really sucked. We got, right here, we see, right here, in the first two weeks after the death of George Floyd, which was a tragedy, protests cost $1 to $2 billion in insurance property damage. In the three calendar month, more than 30 people were not alive in 14 thousand people were arrested and making protests alone this is according to wikipedia and yeah a lot of these are probably like the way higher now and i when i was looking at how many people had been on un unalived because of it i saw like 12 or like 17 and i'm like that's not right that's not true and that was like the most updated one i'm like no 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 so this is it's definitely a lot more than 30 we've had a lot of good people die because of it and it's not a good thing going on so yeah plus 90 million dollars in funds to bail protesters from jail yeah that's one of the things blm gets a lot of money 
and then they use it to bail out quote unquote protesters in jail. You're not going to go to jail if you're protesting. You're to jail if you're rioting or if you're doing something like, for instance, if the police say, hey, we need you to get out of this area because you're causing traffic jams, you're, causing, you're endangering people, and they don't leave, you're committing a crime. That is now not peaceful because you're committing a crime. You're doing that. That's what my whole thing is. The mainstream media rushed to report so we'll independent findings that 93% of BLM protests were peaceful and non-destructive, and that peace, police intervened in more BLM protests than non-BLM protests. So you didn't uh, claim that these findings contradict assumptions and claims by some people that, that this is like a violent movement. Yeah, but you have to realize that the supposed independent study is anti-police, anti-republican, anti-protest. But yeah, the authors frame the findings to belittle the violence and blame it on counter-protesters, and the 93% finding is achieved by undercounting violent protests using selective sources. Again, this article talks more in depth about the things, uh, but all these different things, I think it's a pretty good article. I think it mirrors a lot of what this article says, which is the one I wanted to lead on. So I'm going to be, again, if you want to see more about this, please go check it out. So you know, here's an opinion piece. Now, my opinion is I fucking hate opinion pieces, but I decided why not have one in it because this is pretty good, a pretty damn good opinion piece, and it's really recent. So I figured why not put this in because like a lot of the information does is backed up, and they actually have links to everything. So if you want to go here and see all the links in case you don't believe what me or this person named, what's their name, Jason Rance is saying, if you don't believe that, you can go check it out. Please go check it out. I, I'd lo I always love to tell people that don't know things about sort of information, give them information, and then let's see what they, they say. Because I remember when I didn't know anything about politics or anything about literally anything. And when I learned something, I was like, wow, okay. I can better shape my my beliefs around that. Even if I, my beliefs don't change like that, I can understand where other people are coming from. So let's continue on this real quick. See, American cities born, businesses were polluted, and innocent civilians were beaten and executed. Uh, summer 2020 was like no other thanks to the Black Lives Matter movement, which allowed radical activists to take the streets in the name of fighting police brutality and injustice, which in itself is false. Um, yes, police brutality in all forms is fucking disgusting. I wish it would never happen, but it's been grossly inflated by what BLM says. I believe, I, I can't really quote it anymore because it's been a while. I believe in like 2018 or 2019, there was only like a handful, maybe like, like 10 or like a little bit more of unarmed uh, black people shot, and some of those were not including people that punched and attacked police that was with their hands. Um, but yeah, it was it was not a large number of people. Specifically, also some of them were ones that had reached for someone's weapon. So uh, it definitely it, it's not a big number of that. And if you realize, there's millions and millions and millions of police interactions daily, even more now because of BLM. But yeah. There's a lot of rioting, a lot of fighting, and it, it's just, it's like a false premise to say that police officers are targeting black people, because it's not true. It really isn't. It's continued on. So, Peter Eide, a Norwegian member of Parliament, made the nomination. He told the Guardian that he credits BLM for its tremendous achievement in raising global awareness consent, con uh, for, oh, what? I'm sorry, I've done like, eight, if you don't understand, no, I'm in college, and I've done like eight or nine hours of like chemistry today. So my brain hurts. Of global awareness and consciousness about racial injustice. It certainly raised awareness for its cause. The messages adopted unmistakable controversial positions. They perverted what could be what could have been a peaceful movement based on a message that almost anybody can get behind. There's a little doubt that Black Lives Matter. That is not disputed. No matter what race baiting politicians may claim, but the BLM movement did much more than ask for equality. Yeah, yeah. It might amount an anti police rhetoric, which the thing is, yes, there's police violence, but there's not anywhere near amount, the amount of what they've been attacked, been told that they've done. The police do not cause that much damage. Attracting Antifa criminals and Marxist radicals, they're not really calling for reform. They want to get rid of the police. Literally, they want to burn down everything. They tried burning down a police station in Minneapolis. They illegally occupied a police precinct in Seattle, and they went to war with the police in Portland and coordinate and uh, they coordinated a vicious attack on police in Chicago. God, I'm not doing good this video. I hope you guys do continue to watch it. If you... I mean, like, I'm trying my best to. I, I'm just not feeling that great, but let's continue on. Let's see, yeah. In these cities and others, police routinely came under a physical assault by BLM adherents. 
We see right here several NYPD officers were assaulted in New York City on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Several hundred protesters crossed the Brooklyn Bridge peacefully, and then the march to violent Manhattan. When the crowd refused to stop blocking the streets, service broke out. A captain was hit in the head with a bottle, and ten officers were injured. In Seattle, a hotbed of criminal activism, Antifa and other radicals tried to burn officers alive inside a police precinct. They used quick drive cement to seal the entrance, but they will they will bat at it because you know Antifa is not the smartest. And thankfully, yeah, it wasn't successful. You see right here. The guy that did it pled guilty and only he only has five years in prison. Imagine if that was literally someone that was like like part of the Proud Boys. Oh my god, they'd be there for way longer. Let's continue on. Yeah. Uh, they swarmed people in restaurants saying white silence is violence. Uh, similar to in Pittsburgh, a man harassed Daniel stole a beer from an elderly couple and tried obscenities towards white people, and three educators were charged for harassment. Meanwhile, near Kansas City, homeowners say they were harassed and faced. Oh yeah, this was the one that uh, they came with the. They came out. It's like the Karen and Ken meme. The one where they came out with the the pistol and the AR-15. That was a, that was a good one. That was funny. In Seattle, BLM murderers targeted a white homeowners with harassment, demanding they leave their homes and pay reparations. Other neighborhoods were simply taunted by the BLM mobs to get quote unquote out of your house and into the streets. But here we see most the, the people say it was mostly peaceful, even as buildings burned behind their live reporting. To help avoid these claims, the Armed Conflict Location and Event Data Project, which we talked, I was telling you guys about in the other article, said that 93% of the 10,000 central BLM protests were tracked. That were tracked, in fact, were peaceful. Taking on space, 7% of 10,600 is a pretty big number because it, it, it is pretty big if you think about it, and it should be downplayed. Indeed, uh, of that 7%, the mass majority, 88%. Uh, involved BLM activists, but even a casual view of the data shows its limitations and its bias. So, yeah, it, it claimed must have missed the mob of protests that attacked a local business, thundering to burn it down in the early morning of June 14th. Plus, two months later, two protests that included plenty of vandalism and black bloc Antifa thugs weren't, that's a tongue twist, or weren't even included in the data set, which, mean, which begs the question, how many more things were not put into that, you know? Like, how many different violent things were not added into that result? BLM supporters have argued that their tactics were necessary and the cause justified. I disagree. They can't. Yeah. They, even if even if it was, those two seven percent is too much of, of the, that number to that that is violent. That you can't say that they get a peace prize because it's not peaceful. So many others wonder if transparent uh, if such a transparently pandering nomination BLM will make it heard. I think it's going to reject it. But these same people that. that if you think about it, they gave President Barack Obama the Nobel Peace Prize, but he had done basically nothing at that point, and then he did worse. He, you know, they, they said, saying, w we, "We hope that you're gonna like not put us in any worse than any president worse." Also, we've been we're we're in another war now because of Biden, so that's wonderful. So rewarding this behavior is sending the wrong message, especially when too few BLM activists did anything meaningful to keep the peace or condemn the violence. It says violence the answer, a position anyone can abuse to further their own political agenda. I don't think anyone on the right or the left should do this. Now, I just want to point out, the people at the bottom, all these people are, def are on the su against the author, which I think is stupid. I, I don't understand how. But yeah, we're also going to be looking at this really quickly. Again, I'm not going to be showing most of it, specifically because of this. And I think I know what it was. I think it was right here. That's why I'm not showing that part of it. I'm going to show a only a little bit of this, and we'll then it'll be done. So if you don't want to see any more, you can totally leave right now. But if you do want to stick around for a little bit more, we can watch this a little bit together. So let's see this large mimicking scenes in Minneapolis, Denver, Michigan. Yep. Uh, one, peaceful. two, three, four, peaceful. five <laughs> cop cars completely on fire from front to back. Yeah. I hope they reach white folks. I hope they reach their neighborhood because that's what it needs to be at. So peaceful. About why he's out here. Take a listen to what he had to say. All right, man, we saw you at the New Balance store. Why are you out here? Uh, man. Point blank, just like all my real ones trying to do, trying to get some money. <laughs> Anyone who acted criminally in this weekend's racist violence, you will be held fully accountable. Justice will be delivered. That was about that. I don't, I'm trying to remember that. Oh, we didn't see that. We didn't He's see that. I may have to cut that out. We didn't see that. Oh my god, they just threw firecrackers at the fucking police. Oh my god, they just. I don't think I have it. I may have to cut some of this out. I'm hoping I don't have to see it. See, I, I'm trying to skip around so nothing bad happens. Oh, this is totally doing so much for the Black Lives Matter organization. Why? Why? What? You gotta let 
lazy. I <laughs> so is this? <laughs> Please have a shop. Oh, yeah. Look at the brick. I'm not gonna show that because I get you can see that would get me age restricted. These people are looting here. See, uh, all these different things. I'm trying to skip around so I don't get in trouble with anything right here. The lighting that that all on fire. To cut that out. So if you don't know, I'm gonna have to cut a few things out now because they just went over a few things. You see right here, they're attacking a police car. Why are you attacking a police car? Makes no sense. Your people's reading cop. That's right here. Right, let's listen to this one guy and then we'll be done okay, with it. Okay, this makes no sense. Your people's reading comprehension just baffles me. He said the thugs dishonoring yeah, thugs. the memory of George Floyd. The people burning down the assisted living home. The people burning down jobs. The people stealing from- How hard is this to understand? He's only saying dishonoring the memory of George Floyd. He's talking about the people that are like violently protesting. Now, I, I already said, not all of them are prote like protesting violently. So they're a peaceful protest. And, I'll get, and I, I appreciate everyone that does peacefully protest. Even though it's all founded on a lie. But still- it's better than the ones that are literally the thugs that are actually causing violence and damage, which are in a high number also. Small businesses. That's who he's talking about. But if you have some sort of racial bias in your head that associates the word thugs with black people, that's a self-reflection you need to have. So basically what I do have to say, to, right before I end this up, again, I'll be linking all this below. While BLM is not over... Alright, while BLM is not 100% violent, it's not 100% peaceful. And I think if, if it was any other organization, even with the, the biased article that says 7% of them are violent, right? 7% were violent. That's enough to be not peaceful, in my opinion. You can't have a peaceful p movement, and, but then they have like almost a tenth of it is violent. And we all know the number is way higher. Uh, I, I would guess probably around... I'm, I'm not going to make a guess because I don't have the actual physical numbers because no one does because there's all these different incidents going on and we can't track them all because it, it's sort of stacked against us in that yeah i'm ended off here i'm gonna have to do some cutting out which i i love to do that it's great um i don't i have to go cut a few things out so this channel this video does not get age restricted hopefully and yeah thank you all for watching i love you all i'll see you next video please consider subscribing leave a like and a comment below and check out some of my other videos that i've uh, been in the bubbles around and you're probably seeing a random one that my channel that my channel says you may like so click on that one uh, and i love you all thank you again for watching stay safe wear your mask 20 it's 2021 the vaccines are coming out uh, my family is almost all vaccinated so it was great and bye everybody peace